beautiful Libra. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody slept well, had a wonderful day yesterday. I'm feeling really high vibes. Let's see what's going on for Libra. What about Libra? What are the messages for the beautiful Libras? What about Libra? Woo! What's going on for Libra? Well, first card out was take care. Enemies were working against you or are. I don't know what's going on. Someone behaving stupidly, acting like a turkey here. You're getting good luck in spite of whatever people are doing. It doesn't matter. Libra, what's going on? Hmm. You could be this younger woman or dealing with a younger woman who did something stupid or you are this younger woman who somebody did something stupid here. I don't know. You are getting spiritual guidance, protection from whatever they are trying to work against you. You are divinely protected. What's this going on here? Seek out information that will be helpful to you. What's going on? I don't like that energy of this younger woman. I'm, I, I don't like the energy. I'm going to be real with you. They're doing something stupid and it could have been over finances. Well, you're getting good luck and finances that are coming to you for something you did in the past. I don't know. You could be this older woman. I don't know. Or some involvement about money with an older woman here. This is a younger person doing something stupid. Uh, enemy. It's not your friend. Put it that way. You're climbing the ladder of success here. Climbing towards success. I don't know. With your finances, it's looking good. Good luck and prosperity. A new job or a raise coming toward you. I don't know what this is saying here yet, but let's see. Hmm. Pleasure with a close friend. Hmm. Solid foundation. Success with effort. So this, there could be great personal sorrow that you've gone through because I'm telling you right now, I'm picking up a karmic energy. Take it as it resonates. It could be a karmic um, friend, a karmic lover, a karmic family member. I don't know. Someone uh, is working against you and it could be because they did something stupid and got involved with the younger woman. I don't know. It doesn't, it could have been a romantic situation or it could have been a family member, a co-worker or someone around you working against you. Well, they're going to have great personal sorrow for whatever they did. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Discord amongst family and friends. What's going on here? They could have created a bunch of mayhem amongst family and friends. I don't know. Hmm. Now, this is a fair man here with blonde, gray, or white hair. Um, let's just see. What's going on here? Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And I do see, like... There could be a short journey or something. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on? You're on the road to success. That's where you're going. So if you're this feminine or masculine energy here that I'm reading for, it's like you're getting, yeah, success. That's what's here. Climbing the ladder. Yeah, yeah, this person may have started a bunch of trouble or accusations against you. Don't worry because you're going to be showing the way. A vacation is here. You could be going on a trip or a vacation. It comes out for you all the time. Mm-hmm. Isn't that funny? You're shielded against this person that landed right on top of that karmic energy. 
they're going to need to defend themselves for whatever they did. They, they have no defense. It's like it landed right on top of them. They did something very stupidly. Yep. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is working against you. <laughs> well, maybe they have someone working against them now. A two-faced friend. <laughs> oh my. Hmm. Hmm. They're under judgment. They've received ju judgment for whatever they did. I don't know. Could have been September or something to do with your career. And that's also deep affectionate love coming in. I don't know. You're just busy working. But there is someone around you with a lot of love. And it's like, you're not lowering your standards. There is new romance in the air. I, it's here. Go out and have some fun, Spirit is saying. It's a lighter, light-hearted time, carefree time. So what's ever going on, it's changing for the better. I, it could be a family member or a friend, a two-faced friend. I don't know what you were dealing with, Libra, but they don't stand a chance. They're under judgment. Hmm. Being stubborn. Extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Now they're weeping, creating family sorrow. You're going to triumph. Don't you worry. Whatever went on. Needing to plan ahead. So what's going on? Could be an announcement of a birth, a pregnancy, or a business, an enterprise. A reconciliation here. Hmm. Me. So, I don't know. You're getting a new job or a new position. You may in September here that means something to you. Yeah. Keep your life in balance. Someone wants to reconcile or maybe they reconciled with somebody. If they did, it was over some pregnancy. Now we got August here. These are the zodiac signs you might be dealing with. Or these could be events. They want to say it was a misunderstanding. It, it could have been over money or plenty of things coming in. You've got the bowl coming in. So these problems are temporary, whatever they are. They're only temporary problems. What's going on here for, yeah, now March is out here, guys. Lots of stuff going on. What happened? There were either people or events or situations with those uh, zodiac signs. What's this all about? Figured they were getting success, but it belongs to you. Hmm. Now July. Whoa, you've got a victory coming in of some type. Now for some it's reconciliations. For others of you, it's new jobs, businesses, careers, enterprises. Somebody could be announcing a birth or a pregnancy. We've got all, oh, what? There is this younger man here now. Had a misunderstanding with somebody. I don't know. I can tell you right now. A marriage is going to take place. Either in romance or business. This person got major challenges to overcome. I don't know who it is. But happiness is in your cards here coming out. And it's like you may have warned this person. You're going to have a problem in the future. And it's like now they are. They are. And now it's a bunch, caused a bunch of uh, 
discord amongst family and friends. It's like you may have warned this person you're going to have a problem. They are. Could have told this person. Get out of it. Time to bail out of a situation. What's going on here, Libra? <laughs> it's like you're going to be protected through hard times here, but what's going on here, Libra? Hmm. A chain of events. That will affect you in your life. So whatever this is, it's set off a series or a change of events that obviously is going to end up working out for you in your future. And it's almost like if somebody tried to do you dirty, they did you a favor because it led you to a victory. So you've got all this success and happiness and new careers and new positions coming in. And it's like happiness and love. Somebody could be getting married. There is romance in the air. There is reconciliations in the air. Now take it as it resonates. If you're not reconciling with past people, this is new love. Somebody's getting married. Very happy. Very successful. Just take it as it resonates to your situation. What's going on for Libra? And obviously it did set off a, a series of events. March, May, July, August, September. All this may have been events or people who were involved in the situation. So let's see what's going on here for the beautiful Librans. Hope. Oh. <laughs> Good card. Rejoice in celebrations. This could be reconciling. I don't know, friends, family, a loved one. I don't know. Hoping for, yeah, somebody had to bail out. Somebody moved on. And now you're getting happy. You're celebrating. You're rejoicing something. And your passions are being ignited. This person may have fallen into temptation, I'm just saying. Have been brought to awareness about their movements, choices, and decisions. They're going through financial changes. Well, somebody sacrificed a union, maybe. Sacrificed their finances. I don't know what this is. I just know that you're hopeful you've got this bright light around you this is you rejoicing your passions being ignited mm -hmm. and there was a lot of deception and envy around you people working against you well now they're feeling the emotional loss here you're trusting your intuition there is communication here or a blockage in communication. But you're building on a solid foundation. I think this person... Uh, truth. Patient and planning. Someone's planning to reconcile. Now that can be in business. That can be in a romantic love situation. There is new partnerships, new alliances, new friends. You're celebrating something. It's like <sighs> triumph. It's a success. New beginning. Trusting your intuition. Third eye chakra. Prosperity is going to begin in your life. A triumphant success. And yes, Love begins. Choose wisely, Spirit is saying. There has been a tower, but it's bringing you in a material harvest, and it may come as a shock to you. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're shining bright like a diamond here. 
in a big way. And this person is trapped in fear because you're having a new experience. They may want to start something new with you. So it's saying choose wisely because past people may be trying to reconcile and new love is trying to enter. What's going on? Messaging. You're accelerating quickly. It's going to accelerate quickly. That person is being faced with challenges and obstacles. And here you are, this wise counsel, or maybe they're seeking a wise counsel. Some, something is changing in their foundation, in their um, achievements. Something is changing. They're getting wise to something. This is home and family and transformation. So it's like somebody may have left somebody in solitude, but you're healing and you're abundant. You're very nurturing. You're birthing hope and light and passion and business and career. It's like you're healing and you're taking, oh my God, look. Could very well be a reconciliation, guys. Emperor, Empress, energy, healing. So whether you're masculine or feminine, you're healing. I'm saying this is going to transform. Somebody's gotten wise. And somebody over here is going to be left feeling heartache and loss. And I do believe it is this younger uh, feminine energy. I do indeed. Yeah, because someone started lit crown chakra here. And together you're going to have material and spiritual prosperity. So you could just be the single feminine getting new love, an emperor. If you're an emperor, you're this masculine energy, you're getting your feminine. Together. You're having prosperity and material prosperity. What's going on? Fulfillment of wishes. <laughs> Hello. Passion. And now that person is feeling conflicted and defeated because why? You're getting harmony. Two people are coming together, guys. It's a sacred union. Somebody is definitely reconciling, or it is at least hoping to. And if you're not accepting past people, this is a brand new love. And it is passionate, and it's full of prosperity, materially and spiritually. So, I don't know, whoever done you dirty, it backfired on them. It's all been a waiting game, but it is positive movement forward. It's destiny. Guys, I'm not messing with the spirits today. They're pretty bang on accurate here. They're just very implicit about what's going on in Libra's life. So whatever it is, it's destined that you have positive movement forward. Whether you're single, coupled, or not, you're getting climbing the ladder of success. But I know someone's getting a spiritual union here. It's destined. Some of you may be reconciling. If you're not, it's someone new. Somebody had to surrender. And to Mother and Father God, give it to God. Courage and bravery. It's divine timing, guys. Trust the universe. Blessings and abundance are coming in. Libra, angelic protection. So whatever the heck people were trying to do you dirty with, they're failing. Libra.
Wow, what a powerful read. Spirit is very explicit in this read. Whoa. <laughs> that wanted to show, guys. From sadness to new love, loving of self, balance, temperance, that wanted to appear. So it's like someone didn't see what they had. Now they want to reignite this love. If you are not um, reconciling with anybody, it is love of self, giving your balance after sadness. But there is new love on the horizon. So what's going on? Judgment. Reconciling, someone is facing their judgment for whatever they did, but this is a making a decision to be balanced and love of self, and it could also be reconciliation. I just know it. After a betrayal, and it's like something is ended with a tower. It was unstable, Spirit is saying. It fell because it was not built on solid ground. You trusted your intuition here. Now, what's going on? You're vibing high. You are a go-getter. You're, what is this? Maybe somebody's rushing in. Or somebody might have been a runner. Runner chaser thing. Well, I know Libra's not chasing, so they're going to have to run <laughs> they're running back in to you're celebrating now this is twin flame energy but what's going on hmm. truth someone's rushing in to communicate a truth of some type hmm Yeah. Want a new beginning with their Ten of Cups. They're heavily burdened and stressed out. They're the hermit. I don't know. They could have ghosted you. I don't know. Maybe you just moved on because it was too much to carry. You've got a new beginning. You could be traveling. Somebody might want to take you somewhere or take you out. It's the yin to your yang coming in here, guys. You're moving forward. And what's going on here at an accelerated rate? Mm -hmm. You could be the manifester, yeah. There is communication. It is accelerated motion here. Messages coming in. But it could just be you quickly moving ahead. Someone's communicating with you. I'm telling you that. You're in... Planting seeds, guys. Reconciliations, celebrations, whatever seeds you have planted, they're going to grow quickly. This is you celebrating. Now, this also is reconciliation. This is also new partnerships, new alliances. So only you're going to know what is you're doing. There's been heartbreak. And it could have been over this third party situation that caused a breakup. I don't know. But you're single, confident, entrepreneurial energy, financially you're stable. It's transformation. I think somebody, death and rebirth. I don't know. Strong. You cut out anything or anybody from your situation that isn't for your higher good and I think that I don't know somebody was all stuck up in their head about something worrying but somebody could have come in between you and ended this relationship okay but it's showing like you're financially grounded it's showing you confident it's showing you stable it looks like you don't have a care in the world here you're just working on your future. Mm. Competition, obstacles, challenges. Somebody could have been giving to two, but you're getting your balance back. It's lessons learned. It's higher. Holy moly, new beginnings, commitment. Somebody is getting married. 
I'm just saying. And it's equal reciprocity, guys, here. That's learning lessons. That's higher levels of education, higher levels of positions, career, financial abundance, uh, promotions, raises, all that stuff. You could be given a promotion or a higher level. This is judgment. This is, oh no, this is the hangman. So if you're feeling stuck or you've been waiting, it's been divine timing you're waiting for, your ships are coming in. Hello. I told you you've been waiting. You've been feeling held back or feeling held down or feeling stuck somehow. Well, I can tell you if it's your career, it's taken off. Oh, everything has been exposed. Somebody walked away. And someone's taken a leap of faith here. Memories of the past, fond memories, can't stop thinking about you. They couldn't choose. They were conflicted. Now they're conflicted because you're the empress. And somebody is sitting here confused. Somebody confused them. Confused. They weren't thinking. But they're thinking about the past. And they're nostalgic. They know you're the Empress or the Emperor. Take it as it resonates. You're abundant. You're successful. You've got career happening for you. And it's like, this is justice. Balancing out the scales, to be fair. What's going on? Yeah, you're. I'm telling you, somebody moved on and... Now, somebody wants to work with you. You could be getting into a business partnership or something or choosing another direction of career. Or you could just be looking at your own abundance and choosing to love of self, choosing to nurture yourself. And then, boom, here comes this offer. You might have rejected this person, but to you, or they may have rejected you. But here's the page of wands this is destiny there is new love i'm telling you right now someone is missing you you're getting new romance if you were left out in the cold somebody is romancing you a lot of love they're holding on to you and you are getting the wheel of fortune this is change so if they were a page they're coming in like a king of cups I've changed. And if you're not accepting a past person, this is this person loving on you. Oh, yeah. Just saying, if they were in devil energy and you were an overgiver, I'm telling you, you're choosing you. There's new love. There's new passion. Somebody is observing you. And I'm telling you, that someone is passionate about you. This is a leader. This is your divine counterpart. This is someone sitting here because they know you're going to stay. It's an emperor. And they know your wish fulfillment. This is your wish fulfillment. And because you stood your ground. Mm -hmm. It's ten of pentacles, guys. It's wish fulfillment. Hello. Victory. Success soulmate coming together new beginning you're the wounded warrior but you got this new beginning and it is with an emperor or an empress take it as it resonate it is a soulmate i know spirit is adamant about this guys three different decks or four different decks all saying the same story uh the universe has something lined up for you in a big way. I would not worry, guys. If you're going through stress and worry, don't. Just trust. Give it to the universe. Surrender. You, the universe knows what is best for you. And it's going to make stuff happen in your life. Because it's too explicit. Too adamant. In too many different decks. For it not to be the case. So I would just claim it and surrender to it and know that mother and father god are looking after libra i love you guys